सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट चैप्टर फोर प्रैक्टिकल ज्योमेट्री पेज नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन फोर पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन यू हैव लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ ट्राइंगल्स इन क्लास सेवन वी रिक्वायर three measurements of sides and angles to draw a unique triangle since three measurements were enough to draw a triangle a natural question arises whether four measurements would be sufficient to draw a unique four-sided closed figure namely a quadrilateral do this take a pair of sticks of equal lengths say 10 cm take another pair of sticks of equal lengths say 8 cm hinge them up suitably to get a rectangle of length 10 cm and breadth 8 cm the rectangle has been created with the four available measurements now just push along the breadth of the rectangle is the new shape obtained still a rectangle you can observe this in figure 4.2 observe that the rectangle has now become a parallelogram have you altered the length of the sticks no the measurements of sides remain the same give another push to the newly obtained shape in different direction what do you get you again get a parallelogram which is altogether different yet the four measurements remain the same this shows that four measurements of a quadrilateral cannot determine it uniquely can five measurements determine a quadrilateral uniquely let us go back to the activity figure 4.1 we have a rectangle abcd ab and cd measure 8 cm bc and ad measure 10 cm figure 4.2 we have a parallelogram abcd with the same measurements of sides figure 4.3 again we have a parallelogram abcd with the same measurements of sides page number 58 You have constructed a rectangle with two sticks each of length 10 cm and other two sticks each of length 8 cm. Now introduce another stick of length equal to BD and tie it along BD. You can observe this in figure 4.4. If you push the breadth now, does the shape change? No, it cannot. without making the figure open the introduction of the fifth stick has fixed the rectangle uniquely that is there is no other quadrilateral with the given lengths of sides possible now thus we observe that five measurements can determine a quadrilateral uniquely but will any five measurements of sides and angles be sufficient to draw a unique quadrilateral figure 4.4 here we have a rectangle abcd ad and bc measure 10 cm ab and cd measure 8 cm there is a diagonal connecting b and d think discuss and write arshad has five measurements of a quadrilateral abcd these are AB is equal to 5 cm angle A is equal to 50 degree AC is equal to 4 cm BD is equal to 5 cm and AD is equal to 6 cm can he construct a unique quadrilateral give reasons for your answer 4.2 constructing a quadrilateral we shall learn how to construct a unique quadrilateral given the following measurements 1 when four sides and one diagonal are given 
2 when two diagonals and three sides are given. 3 when two adjacent sides and three angles are given. 4 when three sides and two included angles are given. 5 when other special properties are known. Let us take up these constructions one by one. 4.2.1 When the lengths of four sides and a diagonal are given. We shall explain this construction through an example. Example 1. Construct a quadrilateral PQRS where PQ is equal to 4 cm, QR is equal to 6 cm, RS is equal to 5 cm, PS is equal to 5.5 cm and PR is equal to 7 cm. Solution A rough sketch will help us in visualizing the quadrilateral. We draw this first and mark the measurements. You can observe this in figure 4.5. Figure 4.5 Here we have a quadrilateral PQRS. PS measures 5.5 cm. SR measures 5 cm. QR measures 6 cm. PQ measures 4 cm. There is a diagonal in the middle measuring 7 cm. Page 59 Step 1 From the rough sketch, it is easy to observe that triangle PQR can be constructed using SSS construction condition. Draw triangle PQR. You can observe this in figure 4.6. Figure 4.6 we have a triangle where PR measures 7 cm, PQ measures 4 cm, QR measures 6 cm. Two intersecting arcs have been drawn over Q. Step 2. Now we have to locate the fourth point S. This S would be on the side opposite to Q with reference to PR. For that, we have two measurements. S is 5.5 cm away from P. So, with P as center, draw an arc of radius 5.5 cm. The point S is somewhere on this arc. You can observe this in figure 4.7. Here, we have the same triangle as figure 4.6. An arc has been drawn underneath it. Step 3. S is 5 cm away from R. So, with R as center, draw an arc of radius 5 cm. The point S is somewhere on this arc also. You can observe this in figure 4.8. Figure 4.8. Here, we have the same triangle as in figure 4.6. Two intersecting arcs have been drawn underneath it. Page number 60 Step 4 S should lie on both the arcs drawn. So, it is the point of intersection of the two arcs. Mark S and complete PQRS. PQRS is the required quadrilateral. You can observe it in figure 4.9. Figure 4.9 here, we have a quadrilateral PQRS. PR is a diagonal of 7 cm. PQ measures 4 cm. QR measures 6 cm. RS measures 5 cm. PS measures 5.5 cm. Two intersecting arcs have been drawn over Q and S. Think, discuss and write. 1. We saw that five measurements of a quadrilateral can determine a quadrilateral uniquely. Do you think any five measurements of the quadrilateral can do this? 2. Can you draw a parallelogram BATS where BA is equal to 5 cm, AT is equal to 6 cm and AS is equal to 6.5 cm? Why? 3. 
Can you draw a rhombus ZEAL where ZE is equal to 3.5 cm, diagonal EL is equal to 5 cm? Why? 4. A student attempted to draw a quadrilateral PLAY where PL is equal to 3 cm, LA is equal to 4 cm, AY is equal to 4.5 cm, PY is equal to 2 cm, and LY is equal to 6 cm, but could not draw it. What is the reason? Hint Discuss it using a rough sketch. Exercise 4.1 1. Construct the following quadrilaterals. 1. Quadrilateral ABCD AB is equal to 4.5 cm, BC is equal to 5.5 cm, CD is equal to 4 cm, AD is equal to 6 cm, AC is equal to 7 cm. 2. Quadrilateral JUMP JU is equal to 3.5 cm, UM is equal to 4 cm, MP is equal to 5 cm, PJ is equal to 4.5 cm, PU is equal to 6.5 cm. 3. Parallelogram MORE OR is equal to 6 cm, RE is equal to 4.5 cm, EO is equal to 7.5 cm. 4. Rhombus BEST BE is equal to 4.5 cm, ET is equal to 6 cm. Page number 61 4.2.2 When two diagonals and three sides are given. When four sides and a diagonal were given, we first drew a triangle with the available data and then tried to locate the fourth point. The same technique is used here. Example 2. Construct a quadrilateral ABCD given that BC is equal to 4.5 cm, AD is equal to 5.5 cm, CD is equal to 5 cm, the diagonal AC is equal to 5.5 cm and diagonal BD is equal to 7 cm. Solution here is the rough sketch of the quadrilateral ABCD. You can observe it in figure 4.10. Studying this sketch, we can easily observe that it is possible to draw triangle ACD first. How? Figure 4.10. Here, we have a quadrilateral ABCD. AD is equal to 5.5 cm. CD is equal to 5 cm. BC is equal to 4.5 cm, AC is equal to 5.5 cm, BD is equal to 7 cm. Step 1. Draw a triangle ACD using SSS construction. You can observe it in figure 4.11. We now need to find B at a distance of 4.5 cm from C and 7 cm from D. Figure 4.11 Here we have a triangle ACD. The sides AC and AD measure 5.5 cm, CD measures 5 cm. Two intersecting arcs have been drawn over D. Step 2 With D as center, draw an arc of radius 7 cm. B is somewhere on this arc. You can observe it in figure 4.12. Figure 4.12. Here we have the same triangle as figure 4.11. An arc has been drawn underneath the triangle. Step 3. With C as center, draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm. B is somewhere on this arc also. You can observe it in figure 4.13 Figure 4.13 Here we have the same triangle as figure 4.11. Two intersecting arcs have been drawn underneath it. Page number 62
Step 4. Since B lies on both the arcs, B is the point intersection of the two arcs. Mark B and complete ABCD. ABCD is the required quadrilateral. You can observe it in figure 4.14. Figure 4.14. Here we have a quadrilateral ABCD. BC measures 4 cm, CD measures 5 cm, AD measures 5.5 cm, AC measures 5.5 cm, BD measures 7 cm. Think, discuss and write. 1. In the above example, can we draw the quadrilateral by drawing triangle ABD first and then find the fourth point C? 2. Can you construct a quadrilateral PQRS with PQ is equal to 3 cm, RS is equal to 3 cm, PS is equal to 7.5 cm, PR is equal to 8 cm and SQ is equal to 4 cm? Justify your answer. Exercise 4.2 Construct the following quadrilaterals. 1. Quadrilateral LIFT. LI is equal to 4 cm. IF is equal to 3 cm. TL is equal to 2.5 cm. LF is equal to 4.5 cm. IT is equal to 4 cm. 2. Quadrilateral GOLD. OL is equal to 7.5 cm, GL is equal to 6 cm, GD is equal to 6 cm, LD is equal to 5 cm, OD is equal to 10 cm. 3. Rhombus BEND. BN is equal to 5.6 cm, DE is equal to 6.5 cm. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Shanu Muksim Assistance in Production Somya Malik Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India